Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you put symbols within symbols. Um, a couple people have uh, sent me messages asking me how to do that, and I thought, you know, uh, just do it <clears throat> using basic shapes. So I won't necessarily use a, uh, a character or anything like that. I'll just show you how to do it using basic shapes. So that way you can apply to just about anything you want. Um, so let's see, I'll start here. I'll just create some, some layers. Um, I click on that icon. And <clears throat> within each layer, I'm going to create um, different shapes. Let's say, for example, start with the oval tool, uh, make a circle. Uh, what color is that? Let's make it blue, or purple, whatever. All right. <clears throat> and um, uh, let's go to the other layer. Uh, let's make a rectangle. Let's make that um, uh, red. Um, go to the next layer, make a um, triangle. Use the line tool. Uh, let's fill it. And let's make a uh, oval. <clears throat> now I'll fill that with um, green. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'll do, actually, really quickly, copy, paste, make another circle. And change your color to red. And I'll make another rectangle. And I'll change your color to green. Okay, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here, I'm going to um, make all of these symbols individually. And then after that, I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make all of this, all the shapes, one symbol as well. And then after that, I'll go in and also make um, <clears throat> subgroups or basically, you know, other symbols within the larger symbol. So there will be one symbol that contains all the shapes. Um, and within that large symbol, all of these will be individual shapes as well. And then I'll also find uh, make subgroup um, symbols. So, for example, all the red shapes together or circles together and so on. Um, so first, <clears throat> let's make all these individual shapes, symbols. Um, you do that by highlighting this the, the shape or the artwork. So for example, if I were to make this um, oval uh, symbol, I would highlight it like that. Or you could click on it, double click on it. If you click on it once, you only highlight the, uh, the, the filling. See that? So if you wanna highlight, if you wanna select all of it, you double click on it, or you can just, you know, do like that. <clears throat> Shortcut is F8 to uh, create a symbol. So I'll make that uh, um, oval green. Um, let's make this symbol uh, rectangle red. Uh, this circle red. Circle purple, uh, triangle yellow, and make this rectangle green. <clears throat> All right. So now you can verify that by looking in your library. Here you go. You can see all the symbols. Um, all the shapes are now symbols. You can, and when you you can see that they're symbols by clicking on them. They should. Uh, show a blue outline all right now they're all symbols now what I'm going to do <clears throat> I'm going to highlight all of them see now they're all selected and hit F8 now I'm creating a symbol which will be uh, the symbol that contains all of them so I'll just name this symbol shapes all right so now if you notice all the uh, the first frames of these layers are now empty all right why because all the shapes are now within this larger symbol. So I can easily just, you know, delete those layers. 
As a matter of fact, I can even delete this. There you go. Because now everything has been converted to a symbol. So I can simply go to my library and retrieve this, uh, whichever one that I want at any time. Now notice you have, I still have the individual symbols and I have this shape symbol which contains all the shape. I just simply dragged it from the library here. <clears throat> now if I want to access um, the, the symbols inside, I double click on it and now I'm within the shape symbol. And if you notice here, you see scene one and now you see shapes to the right of that. It means that I'm within the larger shape symbol. So if I wanted to go out, there I have it, and then go in, and now I'm inside. <clears throat> now if you notice, here I have access to all the symbols individually, okay? Now let's say for example I wanted to create, um, and if you notice we already have symbols within symbols, okay? We have one large symbol on, on the outside, we click in, here we have individual symbols inside. Now I'm going to create a, another subgroup. <clears throat> so let's say we unite um we're gonna group them i'm just gonna find i'm just gonna make two subgroups uh rectangles okay say let's we highlight this rectangle um just to highlight this one so select this one as well i'm holding down shift while i click on uh these two symbols so that means they're both selected at the same time hit f8 and let's call this uh symbol rectangles all right, so I can move it and you see, this is the symbol containing the two rectangles, All right? And let's make another group, um, circles, okay? <clears throat> F8, circles. And there you have it. So now, <clears throat> What I've done pretty much is created three layers of symbols. So on the outside, I have this huge symbol which contains all the shapes. Now, when I double click on it, I have two subgroups which have the rectangles here. Actually, I'll make this a little smaller so you can. Uh... Okay. So I have uh, <clears throat> one subgroup and another subgroup circles, rectangles, and then here you have these individual symbols. And then <clears throat> if I wanted to even, you know, go deeper, I could click on this and go in and now I ha have that access to these individual rectangle symbols. So you see, it's pretty easy. Um, once you, you uh, have selected the items, you pretty much, <clears throat> any, any two items you select, you can hit, just convert them to a symbol and that's it. It's pretty easy. So. For example, this could be, um, say for example, the, uh, the whole character. And then you click on it, and the, uh, the rectangles could be the arm. So this could be the upper arm, lower arm, and, but you have arm symbol, you know? Uh, this could be like a leg symbol. You have, within it, you have the upper leg and the lower leg, and so on. So if you don't want to necessarily, you know, animate or move each symbol individually, you can just group them together just like that. So I could, I could easily group these two together and make a symbol out of that. So actually, I'll do that. I'll highlight them, F8, and call them um, uh, left out symbols. We'll call them uh, outsiders. <laughs> All right, outsider shapes. And that's it. So here I have three groups. I have the uh, circle groups, um, rectangle group, and I have the uh, outsider shapes. <clears throat> a key thing to notice is that whenever you go within a symbol and you make changes, you permanently alter that symbol. So for example, if I were to put the uh, rectangles on the right, circles on the left, outsider shapes in the middle, notice that whenever I click on the outside, and if I were to uh, delete the shape, the shape symbol, and then go into the library and pull it out again, see that? Whatever changes I made is now permanent. <clears throat> so the shapes inside are not, the, the shape of the, um, the, the symbol is permanently altered. So you have to be careful of that. So for example, if, you, um, if you're pulling, uh, 
a symbol from the library and you make changes to it, know that it's going to permanently alter that. If you don't want to um, permanently alter that symbol, what you can do is uh, select the shape or whatever symbol it is and create a duplicate. So you can like say for example um, circle red, I could right click, duplicate, and then alter whatever symbol that is and I'll be able to have uh, a duplicate of that symbol, but the, the, the duplicate symbol would be able to, uh, I could change it without altering the original symbol. So that's a good way to, um, you know, play around with the symbol without altering the original version of it. Um, so now I'll actually uh, go back to the scene, I'll delete this, uh, and now I can actually just pull the subgroups. See that? Just pull the circles or I could just pull the rectangles or I could also pull them individually they're still there see so now you have a lot of options of how you want to um, deal with the symbols another quick trick I'll show you really really fast is um, <clears throat> I could pull this whole shape symbol now it, say for example I want to break this apart I don't want to necessarily click into it and then click into it again I want to break it into all the individual symbols it's really simple. Right click and break apart. And there you go. And see, notice I have the three groups. Now I can just select that, and right click, break apart again. And you would break up everything into its individual symbols. Or another quick way you could do it is just uh, Command B. And that's it. That's a shortcut. If I want to break this one apart, Command B. Um, Command B. Uh, Command B. Now they're all individual, you know, symbols. See that? <laughs> now, if I wanted to, for example, tween them, uh, like you know, do um, individual animations on each symbol, they're all on the same layer, which is not good. You generally, the rule is, you want to animate a symbol per layer. So it's pretty simple. If you wanted to do that, you highlight all of them, right click, distribute to layers. Now, if you look right here, this is what just happened. Now, undo and do it again. Right click, distribute to layers. And basically what it does is send each symbol to an individual uh, layer. So now you can animate um, animate them one at a time without affecting the others. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, so any other questions you have, you know, something you want me to go over really quick, I can do that. Just send me a message and I'll, you know, whenever I have time, I'll just do a quick tutorial and uh, show you guys how to do it. So. Hopefully you learned a lot from this and you can just, you know, experiment and explore and have some fun with it.